Hey everybody, this is Adam with Lido Key Vacations out here today to show you how to use our stair chair. These obviously function uh, in conjunction with our elevators at some of our homes. Um, one quick thing to note about our stair chairs first and foremost is that there is a power button and there's also a key. The key needs to be in place and it needs to be turned to the right, engaged. If it is turned straight like this, it will not work. So make sure that it is turned to the right and make sure that the power button, which is right here, is turned on like it is right now. If it is towards this circle, it is off and it will not work. So make sure it's facing this way, okay? Um, you can control these uh, stair chairs in one of two ways, either using the remote that's fixed at the top and the bottom of each stair landing. And obviously you have the down arrow, which brings the, the chair down, or the up arrow, which brings the chair up. These can control the stair chair at any point in time. So if you start and you get a foot down or a foot up, and you need to start over, you can easily just push the other button and it will retract the stair chair to its original spot. The other way to control the stair chair is using this remote here. Obviously, left goes up, right goes down. Something to note about using this is obviously the person that is in the chair that's controlling uh, the chair itself, but once the chair starts in either direction, it has to go all the way, it has to complete the full cycle uh, before it can come back down. It will not allow you to go a foot and then come back down. So again, that's where you would have to use this remote. Uh, a couple safety features that we have with the stair chair that we always recommend using. Uh, obviously to engage the stair chair or when you're at the top of the stair, don't ever put somebody into the chair this way. These handles on either side of the chair, disengage it and it allows it to move and then it will lock it into position. These are on both sides of the chair. Okay, so make sure that the chair is locked you can then transition the person or assist the person into the chair. Make sure that both arm rails are down. Make sure that the safety belt is on and latched. And then you can disengage and allow it to lock and you're good. That, at that time, you can either uh, have the person in the chair operate uh, the chair itself or you can use it here. Uh, for our purposes, we'll use the remote, which makes it very easy. I'm pushing the down arrow. As you can see, it's a nice slow process. It's not a speed demon by any means, so you will have to you know, be a little bit of patient. And we always recommend that when you're operating the stair chair, you're doing it with somebody. So not only the person that's in the chair, but also somebody that's here to assist to make sure uh, that they get down safely. And again, that they're on this remote as a secondary safety feature. So uh, this is our stair chair. Uh, we'll wait for it to get to the bottom of the landing. And that's as simple as it is. So down there you can unbuckle and you can help and assist as you need. So that's our stitcher. Thanks, guys.